Hello and welcome back to the Drunken Gamer. Today we're drinking some Devil's Gate bourbon. Uh, bourbon whiskey? Same thing. Bourbon is just whiskey that's made in America. Kind of like champagne is made in Champagne, France. Otherwise it's just sparkling wine. Tequila is made in Tequila, Mexico. Otherwise it's just agave liquor. Whatever. Bourbon is American whiskey. And this Devil's Gate's pretty good. It's a, it's got a good bite to it. It's got some pretty strong oaky flavor. It's, it's, but it's good bourbon. Um, like, I, don't, I, I, my bourbon of choice is Woodford Reserve, and you'll see that back there. There's a couple bottles. Um, Crown, just, I don't know. Normally, when I drink Crown, I, I taste it. I'm like, it's, it's got, I don't know. It's too. Too much, I guess. I don't know. I just I, I'm not a huge fan of the flavor. Obviously, I'm still uh, hydrating as well. But I don't know. Maybe it's a bourbon thing versus whiskey. I um most of the bourbons, actual bourbons that I've tried have have been pretty good. Whereas the actual just just straight whiskeys haven't been good. But the flavored whiskeys, I've got some. I've got Crown Apple, which I'm a big fan of. I I'm, I like the Crown. Apple great whiskey um but i've also got some huckleberry whiskey so i got two porters there um there's a porter's huckleberry and a porter's peach both have been good they're technically a canadian whiskey um uh recipe but they're made here locally they're they're made here actually in ogden which is great um i'm i'm, always, I'm a big fan of supporting local um and porters make some good but they are it's a canadian whiskey recipe i'm guessing because it's straight says canadian whiskey right So, Canadian whiskey and natural huckleberry contains neutral spirits. So, it's it's local, Ogden's own distillery. It's made here in Ogden, Utah. But it is a Canadian whiskey recipe. So, um, I'm not sure the difference. I don't know why that's specifically whiskey instead of bourbon. Because, I mean, bourbon is just American whiskey. But, obviously, there's some other things that I'm just not aware of. But Porter's does make some some good whiskeys. I, I like I really like their Huckleberry. It's a great whiskey. Um, their peach is pretty decent. Um, the Porter's Fire, the cinnamon version, it's it's pretty good. It's better than fucking uh, Fireball. <laughs> Fireball's okay, but Porter's Fire's better. <laughs> Just saying. Um, so yeah. Anyway, Devil's Gate Bourbon. It's a good bourbon. I do still prefer Woodford over it, but it's it's not a bad bourbon. Uh, my cousin ended up picking it up uh, for us to try, and he actually he likes he likes this Devil's Gate. It's got a little more flavor for him, but he's also a little bit more experienced with uh, with liquors than I am. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. So let's get back to the game. So we've got our building built. As you can see, I've queued up some flooring, a table, some chairs. Although I've 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 got two specifically set to build, other ones canceled right now. And then I've got some crafting tables and stuff to build. Uh, they're both my people are sleeping. They've got their beds, so that should be good. That should be helpful. Um, how's your needs? Awful barracks. Probably because it's just a room on dirt. We'll deal with that. Arkansas slept in the cold? What's the temperature? Oh, it's 11 degrees. Eh, understandable. You're not doing great. Um, ravenously hungry. Well, go fucking eat. Wake up. Uh, slept in the cold. At least you slept in a fucking bed. Jesus Christ. You just landed on a planet and you have a bed to sleep in. Fucking whiny. Fucking rich bastards. Whatever. They'll do their thing. So I did set up... Um, a work schedule as you can see here you can pause if you want to look at it and see the specifics um ultimately i kind of went some with our strong suits uh she rains better at 
constructing right now. Where is it at? So her skill's four. Uh, hell, my skill's already four. It was two, so he's already fucking leveled up that much. Jesus Christ. But he's also got a blazing passion for it, so that's why I've got him as a higher priority. Um, ultimately, I have them doing at least a little bit of everything except for her for managing because she shouldn't be managing. She's a servant. Um, I do have a manager's table. I'm not entirely sure what that's going to do. I don't know how that works yet. So... That's how I've got my stuff set up for now. Even the stuff that I suck at with a skill of one. Right now there's only two of us. We gotta do it fucking everything. Just accept it. So even the low skilled stuff I've got set at least some. Just because except for the managing thing. But um because there's only two of us. We gotta we we gotta do everything. So we'll see how ultimately how this goes and we'll we'll go from there um she's gonna run around cutting all the fucking trees down because that's obviously her next priority job right now of cutting plants which shouldn't you be fucking growing shit right now hey i just saw that about that what is grow where's cut plant plant cut is two. Oh, go start fucking thank you it's fine to cut plants, which is great, but we need to get some fucking food coming in, too. Where are you going? You're still cutting plants before you're harvesting. Why? Hey. No. Stow some fucking rice. Thank you. Jesus Christ. At least we have a little bit coming in. What are you doing now? You're cutting bush. Sowing rice plant. Okay, yeah. Do, do that. Okay. Yeah, we need some fucking food coming in. I know... It Permanent summer? What the fuck does that mean? Days pass since your arrival one, current quadrum, Epreme, local season, permanent summer. Is it just always summer? Did I screw that up? Oh wow, yeah. Local seasons for each quadrum. Permanent summer. I Okay. Apparently I'm on the fucking equator. Quadrums are the same everywhere while seasons are different in different places. You're divided into four quadrums of 15 days each. Huh. Okay. I guess it's just always going to be fucking warm. I guess I don't have to deal with... Well, it's 18 degrees. I'm sure the temperature will still vary, right? I guess we'll find that out. I've never dealt with a permanent summer. This is interesting. That was un unintentional. I don't know... I don't know what that's going to actually ultimately mean. But I guess we'll figure it out. He's about to level to five, so he's about to surpass her in construction cap capabilities. Wait, that's Renee. He's already surpassed her in construction capabilities. <laughs> that's fine. That's great, actually. I, I prefer, I wanted him to be the main constructor over her, which is kind of funny because he's supposed to be like the, you know, rich little rich kid, but, but he's still good with his hands. That's why he came out of the the rim world. He was like, this is fucking bullshit. I don't like this. I want to go out and fucking do something with my life. It's great. Um, so yeah, that's why I, I have these triple walls. Uh, and need defenses. Oh, yeah, but I've got other higher priorities. So I know there's a, someone, I don't even remember who, but they said the best thing to do is to do two walls but with like a space between them and then put turrets in them when you need to power the turrets just put a turret in between the two walls and it like prevents sappers from going through your wall i've never actually dealt with a sapper but and that sounds like great advice and obviously it's probably really good advice because he's probably got way more hours into this game than i've ever had but what was that tdg failed while constructing wooden oh well that sucks but he'll try again in a minute whatever um, it's probably because it didn't get normal quality because I'm still, I, I forced that to be a normal quality thing. I'm okay with that. There we go. Good. So we got a table of normal quality and we got chairs of normal quality. Oh no, they're poor. So they've already been set to be discontinued. Whatever. You do your thing. Dis discontinued. Dis, dis. Deconstructed. Wow, fucking brain fart. Jesus, I feel stupid sometimes. What is this quality? That one's. Why is that not scheduled to be dis de deconstructed? Can I? Can I? 
build better? How do, how does that work? Oh, what's going on? Visitors from people of Lega have arrived at Colony from Northeast. They are afraid to enter your territory for the following reasons. No guest beds. You're afraid because there's no guest beds? You shouldn't be afraid of that. You should just not come in here. If you send them away, they may stay in the area and come back later. Refuse visitors until I have guest beds. Let's just not deal with that right now. we got other important things to do. We'll, we'll do our guest beds later. I'll figure that shit out later. I don't have anything to sell or entertain them with anyway. I've got shit to do. Fuck off right now. Need defenses, low medicine. You have no medicine left in storage. Didn't we start with like 45 fucking... With a bunch of medicine? Did it all deteriorate? What the fuck? Or did it just not get picked up? Where did our... Where was our starting area? There's our silver. Oh, okay, it's just not been picked up yet. Let's haul urgently our medical stuff. Let's haul urgently our silver. So it's just not, not just fucking sitting out there. Those are fine. The still slag chunks. Okay. Let's get our fucking shit hauled to our storage areas. Um. Do do you do, do yeah? We'll haul as we need to, but we've got medicine. We're fine. Um. Need medical source. Prepare a meal source. Oh, I'm working on that. Um. We need some light, so we should probably get some torches. Can we do power? Should we do power yet? Do we have steel for that? 100 steel. How much steel do we have? Zero. Raw resources. It's all there. But how much? we need 100 steel. Uh, da -da 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 that. Steel slag chunk. How much steel? Actually, like steel does that give us? I don't know. It, um, I, just, I don't know. And in our area, this is all steel. We're going to mine the fuck out of that. Yeah, mine that whole corner because that's going to give us a shit ton of steel. This is going to give us a bunch of steel. And that's probably more than we need for a while. There's a little bit of jade there, which we'll, we'll pick up later. Compacted components, whatever. Uh, mind that so that we can get to the compacted machinery. Um, we can get that later. Not hugely worried about that stuff at the moment because we have some compacted. Uh, we don't have components. Do we not have components? Didn't we start with some components? Where the fuck did they go? Silver, silver, silver. What are you? You're still slag. I don't see any components. What the fuck? Why aren't these set to haul? I don't need to haul urgently, but haul them. Must designate haulable items. Some items are always haulable and can't be designated. Oh, all right. Well, you do your thing. Whatever. So we have it. We have steel. We can build power. So you know what? Allow building that, and we will put in. Is it furniture? A standing lamp here. Uh, to do that, we need power. Um. I'll just send it through the walls for now. We'll see where it goes. Uh, yeah. And then, fuck it. We'll go from there. Yeah, that should be enough. We'll see if we have enough still for all this shit. Okay. We have a butcher's table. Um, I'm just going to hit butcher creature do forever. Because when we have a creature to butcher, just fucking butcher it. Manager, I don't know what the fuck this thing means. What this does. There's no bills to make. I don't. I, okay. I guess. Ooh, manager, that thing. Ooh. 
Um, does any of this mean? Hauling still. Hunting. Target count. Count all on map. If enabled, counts all items allowed by the threshold filter on the map. If disabled, counts only those in stockpiles and storage buildings. Calculate distance based on actual path. If enabled, distances will be calculated based on real paths. If disabled, distances will be calculated as the crow flies. Interesting. So we should probably do actual paths. Enabling this option on jobs with a large amount of possible targets may lead to significant lag, lag spikes. I'll deal with that. Check if targets are reachable. Calculate if a path to the target exists for any pawn before creating a designation. Count human meat. Should human meat be counted? Note, this is a shortcut for toggling humanoid mutes in the threshold filter. You can set more options in the threshold details. No, we don't want meat. Insect, no. Excuse me. Unforbid corpses. Automatically unforbid fresh corpses of animal types set to be hunted. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. That's a good idea. Okay, allowed animals. Um... No, we don't want exploding, we don't want predators, and we don't want herd. We do want deer, uh, gazelle, fuck it, sure, guinea pig, hare, uh, ibex is good, fuck muff, mullafalo, we learned that, we got our asses kicked by those motherfuckers, um, tortoise is good, turkeys, wild boar, uh, hmm, do we want yak? I kind of think we should tame yak. So, so manage hunting multiple. Okay, yeah, you do. You. Trees. Okay, this is interesting. Um, the target count five hundred seventy-three in storage. Zero expected from current designations. What do you mean zero expected? We've already we've got. Plenty of designations. Check if targets are reachable. Yes. Calculate distance based on actual path. Yes. Enabling this option on jobs with a large amount of possible target. That one might actually lead to lag spikes because there's going to be fucking lots of whatever. But we're good. So we want chop trees for wood when needed. All trees. So oak and poplar. Yeah. Just fucking everything. What's this one? Uh, taming. Livestock. No job selected. Oh. I would like to tame. One tamed, zero in the wild. Oh, this is kind of cool. Boom rat, cougar, deer. We don't want to tame those. We don't give a shit. I wouldn't mind taming some, no, not boar. Yak. Female five, juvenile f male five. So three females, two males. Auto designate animal. Should the manager designate wild animals to be tamed? Yes. Check if targets are reachable. Yes. Calculate distance, base, and path. Doesn't matter. Butcher excess livestock. Yes. Um, not trained, pregnant, or bonded. Don't butcher those. Unassigned training. This is kind of cool. You can automatically tame manage yex yes um alpacas do the same i want three females and two males up to maximum of five juveniles each whatever do the same thing i don't know what that means fully um i don't have <sighs> me uh miscellaneous pen marker wooden is fine i don't doesn't matter uh just stick it out here and when we eventually get it built whatever <laughs> which means i should probably build the walls um hmm, i need some miners for that shit. Uh, i guess start with wooden because it's cheap and easy to build because I don't have the granite. I'll just do a single wooden wall there. Uh, there. 
Um, and we'll replace these eventually with granite. Where else do I need it? Oh, fuck, I need to build this whole fucking thing across there. Yeah. We'll have some defenses. Not huge. And I guess let's go with security and some barricades. We'll do this. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, I'm going to cancel. That's not the cancel. I need planning remove. Let's remove all these weird red things. TDG. Oh, mad guinea pig. Pause, motherfucker. Where are you at? So designate your ass for hunting. TDG. Go hunt this fucker. Because you can. Because you got... Oh, yeah. Shoot his ass. Shoot him again. Before he gets to you. Oh, motherfucker. I need to get you a knife or something. Rain. Go hunt that fucker with your sword. Because he's going to kick TDG's ass. I need you to draft you. Where the fuck is Rain? You're clear the fuck up there? Okay. Uh, You run here, Sway. Run, motherfucker, run. And pause. What are you doing? Where the fuck are you going? Yeah, this is not turning out well. <laughs> she walked right by his ass. Okay. Now, okay. Undraft. Hunt that little motherfucker. Don't shoot rain. Okay. You guys are good? We hunted? We're good? Good. Success. <laughs> Fuck guinea pig. Um, who is our cook? Doesn't fucking matter. Uh, well, you're sleeping, so I'm gonna have you butcher that little fucker. Why the fuck are you sleeping at 8, 6 p.m.? What kind of schedule are you on? Okay, I'm going to put some recreation for both of you there. And your ass is working 9 to 5. Fuck it. I don't know how the fuck you got on this weird fucking schedule. You're sleeping in the middle of the fucking day. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you? Hey, I've got the light bulb built. Um, do, 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 do. reconnect. Okay. Why did you reconnect there? Yeah, reconnect straight across. Need meal source. You have no way of preparing proper. Well, fucking build the stove. What are you doing, TDG? Consuming package survival meal. After that, build the fucking stove so you guys can start cooking shit. Jesus Christ. What are you doing? What is this? Indoors, but we have a... What is this? Power conduit. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you do you... Where'd you go? What are you doing? You're relaxing socially. Fucking weirdo. What are you doing now? Where the fuck are you going? Well, I'm okay with that, actually. We need some defenses. You do you. I don't understand why you're doing it. How did your schedule get so fucked up? I don't... Now you're sleeping at 6 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck, TDG? Your schedule is fucked. I don't understand this. Fucking weirdo. Get your ass up. Go work on that. Let's get some power. Jesus Christ, we need to fix your schedule. Motherfucker. You've got lots of rest. Yeah, I know you're going to be... My, my sleep is times three. Whatever. Fucking weirdo. You'll sleep. Hopefully this will help fix your sleeping schedule. What are you doing? 
doing a central colony. Whatever. What are we missing? Prioritize that conduit. <gasps> Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Rain thinks you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? The Drunken Gamer Faction. Drunken Gamer. Raworth. Rain also thinks that you should give this settlement a name. What should the settlement be called? What should we call our settlement? I don't know. Um, I don't have a easy solution like Patreons and, and, and subscribers things. I have... <laughs> Maybe one day we can get to that point. That'd be great. But... For now, mm. Devil's Gate. We need what the fuck with the condensation? Give me the fucking thing. Pull a napkin out, picks the whole fucking thing up. We are going to call this the Devil's Gate because that's what we're drinking, and we're good with that. Why is there no fuel for the kitchen? What are you doing now? Rain? Okay, you're still cutting wood. This is fine. You're collecting wood to build everything. Wild woman wanders in. A person living among wild animals has wandered into the area. She's called Holder. You can attempt to tame or arrest her. You're in the fucking... Okay. Who... Has the best ability to tame or arrest. Let's see, tame would be animals, right? Is it warden? Three, five, animals handle is two or six. Fuck. All right, rain. Try to arrest TDG. Forty-nine percent. What were you? Forty-one. Okay, so TDG. You try to arrest. Yeah, no fucking prisoner beds. Go figure. All right. Well, I guess we need to build our prison. Um, architect. Structure. Wooden wall. That's our prison. Stick a wooden door there for now. And we need furniture of a single bed. Motherfucker. Why? Uh, well... Okay, go build this bed first. Zip, 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 motherfucker. Okay, we got a bed. Let's do this. Um, structure, wooden wall, zip, zip. And put a door here. TDG, come and build this motherfucker. Da, 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 da. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Fucking build! Quit collecting wood and building random shit. Build this area out and we can go arrest this fucking crazy lady. Hopefully, before she joins some random faction. Because she's going to end up... Just wandering into an insect faction area and we'll be fucked trying to rescue her. It'll be good to... What are you doing now? Hauling steel to stockpile zone, efficiently unloading inventory on the way. What? What are you doing now? Drinking beer. Oh, well, like, you are an alcoholic. You've been insulted! <sighs> Oh, these two are not going to get along because he's an alcoholic and she's a teetotaler. <laughs> Rain compared DDG to a fiend. <laughs> oh, this is going to go well. <laughs> they're, they're friends at the moment, but because she's a teetotaler and he's an alcoholic, it's not going to end. Well, hey, where the fuck? Did, you just randomly... Hi, what's up, Miss Holder? As soon as I have a place for you, you're going to be arrested. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, gathering pigskin. Consuming. Okay, you do your thing. Eat your food. Okay, next, I need you to concentrate over here. So, after eating your food. Okay, you're coming over here. Digging at marble. 
Uh, okay. I I'm 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 actually slightly okay with that. This is the door, right? Yeah. Cutting oak tree. Okay, understandable. You gotta get it out of the fucking way. It's taking some time. Zoom in and it'll sh show me because he's really slow at plants. Where's plants? 1.49. Wow. Okay. Uh, four prisoners. Sweet. Now where the fuck is Holder? Perfect. You're... TDG, I need you to arrest Holder. Especially since you're sleeping. That might make it easy. <laughs> Um, zip. Okay, Holder, what are your stats? Shooting and melee. Wow, you're a fighter. Apocalypse survivor. Shooting minus artistic minus intellectual. You can't do all. Message carrier. Researching disabled. Managing disabled. But melee and animals. Crafting synthesized drug disabled. Hmm. Incapable intellectual. Holder feels limited in her feeble human body. She often dreams of being enhanced by artificial, but she's also lazy. Cooking, animals, good. Decent at social, actually. You're actually, you know what? I want to recruit you. You're not actually terrible. I mean, you're a little, you're lazy, which kind of sucks. You're a little slower, but overall, you're not bad. So not just forced to work. I'm going to work and recruit. Ooh, that's an option. That's cool. No direction. Forced to work. Work and recruit. Release. Execute. Yeah, work and recruit. 1215. Yeah, see, she's actually pretty pretty cool. What is TDG doing now? Doing essential colony management at Woo. At Wooden Bait. Okay. You do your essential colony management. I don't know what the fuck that means. Has rotted away in storage. Well, that sucks. Um... What are you doing now? Cutting poplar tree. Fuck cutting poplar tree. Refuel the fucking stove. So that we can start cooking. Motherfucker. Okay. Bills. Let's... Jesus Christ, this episode's gone on forever. Um, I'm going to cook some simple meals until I have... Uh, I'm going to shoot for 30, to be honest. And I want a loud cooking skill of at least a four. Do we have cooking skills of four? We have a five and a five. So I'm going to leave that minimum of five. Where's this thing? Bills, details. So minimum of five. I don't want anyone else cooking unless they have at least a five. And I want at least... I don't know what hit points matter with cooking food. I don't think that makes a difference, but we'll we'll have some at least decent cooking so we don't fucking get poisoned by our cookers, cookers, chefs, whatever. Um. So yeah. Like what? Oh fuck! I'm getting raided. They are attacking immediately, motherfuckers! Oh, it's only one person. What do you mean, line bitches? Line cooks. Line cooks? It, it, not really. It's only a single cook. Yeah, you're gonna be filmed. Accept it. Ah, look, there's my cousin. <laughs> he wants more whiskey. <laughs> I don't blame him. This shit's pretty good. <laughs> so, we have this one prisoner, but where the fuck is... Where's the fucking person attacking? I already lost him. Fuck. I didn't pay attention to where they were at. Where are they at? Well, in this... What is all this? Who the fuck's getting attacked up here? Fucking cougars. Eating something. Um... Shit. I didn't pay attention to where they were attacking from. White. There they are. Okay. So... You're, not, you're probably going to come in through here. Which is fine. Okay, both rain and... Come on, Shadar. TDG. Get your asses over here. Okay, Rain, you're going to hang out here. 
TDG, you're going to hang out behind the barracks. Because, are you going to get there in time? Probably not. Jesus Christ. Wow. Uh, Rain, go to right here instead because you need to stop white. Oh! TDG, run the fuck away. Rain, attack. Okay. TDG, go here. Success! She is downed. White Brio. What's her stats? She's fucking very good at careful shooter. Lazy. Why is it so lazy, man? You're kind. Ultimately, I kind of want to still keep you. You're good with animals. You're great social. You're great with animals, actually. Good at your social. Decent intellectual. Crash baby? What the fuck does that mean? As a baby, White was the only survivor of a deadly spacecraft crash. A passing tribe discovered her in a wreckage and adopted her. Social plus three, intellectual plus two. Okay, that's weird. Tamer. White's role in her tribe was to connect with the natural world around her. Especially fulfilling a spiritual... Wait, especially the world of animals. In addition to fulfilling a spiritual role, she also tamed wild beasts and cared for them as they served the tribe. Wow. Animals plus six. I want you to join my tribe, which means I need another fucking bed. <laughs> God damn it. Um, uh, furniture. For now, build a sleeping spot in the fucking terrible space that I have. I'm also going to build a bed there just to deal with this because I want to you're already fucking naked look at this you have nothing on you you capture white you undraft what the fuck was that advanced controls drafted what does this mean left click to a carried weapon while drafted to force its use until end of combat no no that's fine but I do have oh <gasps> I've got beer very nice uh, note that most changes to sidearm loadout require the pawn to not be drafted. Okay. Um, I will deal with that afterwards. Thank you for grabbing that beer and putting it in a stockpile. Well, that was fun. Fuck, we're, we're way... <laughs> we need to end this. Um, I kind of want to recruit both of these fuckers. Because they're not, they don't have terrible, they're not like pyromaniacs or fucking masochists or something. So I'm going to end up recruiting both of these two, which means I need some more beds. Um, yeah. Uh, undraft you, tending to white. Yeah, you do, you do that. That's actually a good idea. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck's going on? Prison Labor Mod Introduction. Are you new to Prison Labor Mod? I am. Don't worry, in this tutorial you will learn how to use this mod. Thank you. The main goal of this mod is to make prisoners work, but managing prisoners is challenge on its own. Is challenge on its own? Shouldn't it be in challenging? Or is a challenge? Let's So let's go with tutorial. I don't think these people were native English speakers. I'm going to pause because <laughs> I've got to translate. Enabling labor for prisoners. There are two main things you need to do before prisoners start working. One, no interaction, forced to work. Firstly, you need to enable labor in prisoner tab, which defaults to prison forced to work, which, so that's enabled. Prisoners. Then you need to adjust work priorities in work tab. There is a special sub tab in top of work tab. Work. I don't see it. Maybe we'll see it later. There are a limited number of available jobs for prisoners. Additionally, you can change that in setting menu, but not all jobs are well implemented and you can experience weird behavior by doing so. I've already set that. We should be okay. Hopefully. I didn't set like specialized stuff. Basically just... Um, I think query wasn't originally enabled, but I added that because, well, that's the best use for prisoner labels, we'll stick them in a query, right? Um, so mining, uh, plant work, uh, things like query, hauling things. 
Motivation. Prisoners are not colonists and they do not want to work on their own. You need to motivate them and watch them constantly. Ten blocks. So you need a jailer to watch them. To watch prisoners, colonists must be within a 10 meter radius of the prisoner and vice versa. Prisoners that are near colonists will work and gain motivation. Additionally, prisoners do not escape if colonists are nearby, but they can take a chance when nobody is watching them. It is worth noting that watching prisoners requires the colonist and prisoner to be in the same room. So in other words, if you know there there's a wall between them, they're not being watched. It's, it's, uh, okay. Watching prisoners can be done manually, drafting colonists, or by enabling the new work type jailer, which I think I have jailer. Um, TDG is a jailer, high priority in fact. Um, in fact, I'm going to put that in number two just to make sure that they don't run away right now because I don't have the outside walls built yet. Uh, designing a prison encampment. There are a few things that you should keep in mind while building a prison. Walls. Prisoners want to escape, so make sure they cannot open doors that lead into open spaces. Are, are there like special designation doors? I should, I, maybe I need to check that. Accessing resources. If you want prisoners to refine materials like cooking, make sure they can access, uh, excuse me, make sure they can access the required materials like meat and potatoes. Understandable. Accessing food. Prisoners should have access to food like a fridge or food stockpiles. In prison labor mod, prisoners can take care of themselves and go for a food run if you let them. Intriguing. Labor areas. These areas are optionals, optional, but some cases you may want to keep colonists from working inside your prison. That's where labor areas come in. They prevent colonists from working inside this area. Icons. There are three icons in this mod. Inspiration icon. Blue one. That's this one. Uh, that indicates whenever a prisoner is motivated by a standing colonist. Lazy icon, red one, this one. That indicates whenever a prisoner is too lazy to work. And then freezing icon that indicates a prisoner is working despite freezing temperature. Well, apparently freezing temperature shouldn't be an issue because we're in permanent summer. So it's going to be nice and warm here. So they should be happy. Locks mod. I highly recommend using locks mod. It allows you to make doors passable by prisoners without making them force use force to open if you have any questions please visit the faq okay so um so does that mean they can't actually open that door because i gotta figure this shit out prison labor management yeah, I read all that shit. Prisoners' time restrictions. You can make time restrictions for prisoners. Work time will force them to work even when they're hungry or tired. Joy time will let them rest from job and get motivation bonus. Sleep time will force them to stay in prison cell. Anything is default setting. Uh, schedule? No. Uh, da, 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 da. Where the fuck is prisoners? How do I... How do I... Is it a work thing? No? Architect? Manager? I don't see them. Oh! Prisoners, there they are. Oh, wow, okay. I want them to haul. I'm gonna actually have them help me firefight stuff. Obviously, they don't warden. Um, Cook? Whatever. Query? I don't care what your skills are. This is what you get to do. Um, grow should be four. Mine should be actually even higher level. So we're going to make that a three. Construct now. Smith, tailor, art, craft, haul. Clean. Yes. No researching or managing. Um, I will. I want to recruit you, so that's later. Entertain, handle, jailer. Oh, that'd be kind of silly. Basic bed rest, doctor. You're fucking prisoners. You do what you can. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Ugh, ugh, fuck. What time is it? 
Wow, it's it's past my bedtime. Um I don't have Where's areas? Uh is it zones? Mm, constructed roof. Labor area. Labor area isn't required to make prisoners work. This area forbids colonists from working. It's for situations where you don't want colonists to work in certain areas. Prisoners will work anywhere they can enter. Well, I want colonists and prisoners to work this area, so I'm not really worried about it right now. Um... Allow select limiter hold open build copy. I don't know how to deal with this. Work and recruit. So does that mean I need to open this? Probably not yet until I get those outside walls built. Because otherwise you're just gonna fucking escape and I don't blame her. Medical emergency White. But you're being tended to, right? TDG sending to you? Health. Gunshot charge. Oh, yeah, you got your ass. But you've been bandaged up, so you should be good. And longsword. Wooden foot. You've already got a fucking wooden foot. Wow. Okay, so... This is where we're at. We got two prisoners. We want to actually recruit them both. Not the sleeping spot. Prisoner. Work and recruit. Work and recruit. We're going to try and recruit them both. Um, because both are good. They've got some good stats. I need to get these outside walls built. As you can see, they're pretty highlighted there. Um, and that way I can let them go out and do stuff. Oh, why don't I have... Oh, it's because it's actually been... Resources have been there. Um, so I'm going to concentrate on that. Get those built. So my, my prisoner... And then once those are built, I'll open the door and they can come out and help. Like do prison work stuff um like mining and, and and farming shit so yeah uh, that's what i'm gonna do in between um I'll, I, there's a decent chance i'll be back before the outside walls are built because there's a lot to be built um so that might be next episode this is a really long episode um you might be used to this at this point because i know a whole last season no last season wasn't a huge long but season three had some long episodes because originally i made them to be edited and i'm not a video editor but i had a friend that was slightly interested um but she was unable to because she got busy it's, it's fine it's not a big deal but that's why they were longer and that's why they didn't get shortened <laughs> whatever so this is a huge very long episode for my norm because i'm not whatever until next time <laughs> drink responsibly folks